Welcome back, guys, to the third episode of Tuskai. Three, Three episodes. episodes. <laughs> That's a lot of work. It is. It is. Today we're gonna talk about the Batman. After the huge success of last year's Batman Day, celebrating the 75th anniversary of the Cape Crusader. 75 years. 75 years. And what a great, great, great character. He is. is. This year's Batman Day took place on the 26th of September. So for those of you who don't know what Batman Day is, essentially it celebrates the iconic superhero and seemingly it's going to happen every year. And in honoring Batman Day, we're going to talk about 10 facts that we love that you may or may not know. Number 1. The Batman. A garment worker, Bob Kane, and a shoe salesman, Bill Finger, started Batman in the Bronx in 1939 due to demand for more superheroes from the success of Superman. In response, Bob Kane created the Batman, which was really similar to how Superman looked. Which actually brings us to our second point, which is the Red Knight. So when we think of Batman, the only pictures that pop into most of our heads is this dark, standalone, in the rooftop, Gotham vigilante. But little do many of you guys know that he was much more colorful back in the days, similar to actually how Superman was. Red? Or is, rather. Yes, so you know what? He had something, well, maybe not like this, but in red, he had no gloves, he had tights, uh, no gauntlets, a domino mask, he had a rope, which he swung from, and had wings which were sticking out all the time. Can you imagine a world of Gotham where Batman was as colorful as his character? So, all we have to say is, Holy costume, Batman! Number three, it was Da Vinci. Right. Batman was actually a mix of different ideas. Yeah, so the Batwing like cape was actually suggested by Bob Kane, who at an earlier age was inspired by the Horny Doctor, which was actually Da Vinci's sketch. And the suit and identity were actually inspired by the 1930s film, Bat Whispers. And his alter ego that you see, Bruce Wayne and Batman, well that was actually inspired by the Mask of Zorro that came out in the 20s. A radio show, known as The Shadow, inspired the cloak for Batman. Yeah, and all of these combined didn't give you Captain Planet, but gave you Batman. Number 4. A Strong Lineage So do you guys know where the name Bruce Wayne comes from? Let me tell you! <laughs> Co-creator Bill Finger chose Bruce Wayne from two historical figures. The first one being the Scottish Patriot King, Bruce I of Scotland, who led the wars of Scottish independence. The second one is Brigadier General Anthony Wayne, a hero of the American Revolutionary War. He was responsible for the second. Yeah, so that's how the name actually came from. Number five, a dark knight. All right, so Batman is known as a hero who never kills, right? Uh -huh. And starting from the years 1930s to 1950s, this hero had no problem whatsoever killing anyone who came across in this world. So he used to hurl gangsters off the rooftops, he used machine guns, normal guns, Actually, I think in the first Batman, uh, and I quote here, uh, Batman said something along the lines of, much as I hate to take human life, I'm afraid this time it's necessary. Batman so during, said that? Yeah, Batman said that. So you know what, during those initial uh, starting of Batman, it was a really, really violent, and you can actually say it was still dark how he acted with the villains, but that all changed over the years where he developed the code, which was basically refused to kill anyone in homage to how his parents were so he didn't want to do that at all. Number six, Robin was only supposed to appear once. It was creator Bob Kane's idea to actually give Batman a sidekick. Yep. And the editor was completely against it because he thought that Batman alone was everything. When the Robin issue was actually released in Detective Comic number 38, the comic actually sold twice as much as the previous installment. So Robin became a permanent fixture in the Batman franchise. And he said it. Artsy, fancy. So what was the first Batman movie? Oh, please. The first Batman movie was from the 1990 movie created by Tim Burton. Actually, or was it the 1967 where Adam West performed? You know, the one which went like... Oh, please. You're on the boat. <laughs> the first Batman film was named Batman Dragon. What's more impressive is that it was directed by Andy Warhol. But the comic book publishers had no official involvement. Examples of the first Batman film. Number eight, Batman is in Nottingham. So Batman's debut actually identified the city as an unnamed cause. 
Later on, it was identified as New York. The first time Gotham City was actually mentioned came in Batman number no. 4 in 1990, where the writer Bill Finger saw the name of Gotham Dwellers in a phone book. And that's how Gotham City came about. Number 9. Holy phoning, Batman! The fans killed me! In 98, readers were given the opportunity to fill up Jason Todd for the second draft. But with 5,343 to 5,271 voting for Jason Todd's death, he met his violent end at the end of the Joker. However, as many of you may or may not know, Jason Todd does return to the famous villain known as the Red Hood. Would you have killed off Jason Todd? No. Cause I'm Batman! <laughs> Number 10. <laughs> How can you talk about Batman without talking about Joker? So the Joker made his first appearance in 1940, basing the character of Conrad Fate from the 1928 film, The Batman. However, Bob Kane didn't have any future plans with the Joker and actually wanted to kill him off during the first appearance. But later, due to pressure from the co-writer, the Joker was actually brought back. And what's interesting is, Kane initially fought with Bill to introduce the character, as Bill thought the character of the Joker was, well, too clownish. And there you have it guys, this was our top 10 facts about Batman. If we missed out on any facts, or if you have your own personal fun facts about Batman, please let us know in the comment section below. Leave a like if you liked the video, and subscribe if you want to see you later, Cuskivers.